it's like a release. Everything else just goes away. It made me feel alive again. It felt good. You keep doing it and doing Afterward, it. Afterward, I get really it. angry because it's like, what have I done to myself? You wait a little bit and then you start asking yourself, why did I do that? In high schools around Australia, students are deliberately hurting themselves. People are experiencing levels of distress that they don't know how to deal with in any other way. What's at stake is you know, an entire generation of kids, who, many of whom are telling us that they're not thriving, that there's something wrong. That's almost, dare I say, an epidemic. Self-harm for me at the moment is an answer. It does keep me alive and it does keep me um, able to cope. I didn't have a choice over it. You just have to. It might be frowned upon by everybody that knows me, but this is what I need and that's what I'm going to do. Self-harm is the unrecognised threat to the next generation. To find the answer, science is going deep into the workings of our brains and challenging the very nature of modern society.